Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to Platform Shooter Part 11. This is going to be kind of a Let's Pixel video, uh, but it's going to be part of the Platformer series. We're going to be using GameMaker Studio 2's Pixel Art Editor and creating the enemy for the game. You can follow along if you want, but I'll have a link to the finished sprite in the description as well. Let's get started. First double click on the spray enemy, then do edit image, and it will open up GameMaker's built-in sprite editor. I'm going to press Control A and delete to get rid of that red color that we had before. And we're ready to get started. So I obviously want to use a red color for this enemy. I'm going to select one of the red colors here, and I'm going to start by doing uh, lowering, the, lowering the saturation just a bit for this enemy and maybe moving towards orange. Just a tad. Okay, I was thinking for these enemies they could be sort of a drone. The one that I'm going to kind of base it off is just kind of a circular, probably a circular shape. And then from this I'm going to create kind of a bottom to the shape, I guess. Let's fill this in. Now I'm still pretty new to Game Maker Studio 2's new sprite editor. I know it's powerful, but I'm not very familiar with it. Probably what I could do is actually copy half of it like this, and that creates uh, an image for it. And then we could do image. Hopefully we can flip this. Yep flip current frame. Apparently we want mirror current fr frame. Yeah. And then I think we can actually get rid of this right here. Just select it and delete it. And select our image up here again and boom. There we go. We've got it perfectly symmetrical. And that's not too bad. We could actually save this and just uh, look to see how it looks inside the game. Run the game real quick and see how this shape looks with the character. And that's not too bad. Kind of reminds me of a Metroid, honestly. But we'll we'll kind of we'll kind of make it look more like a drone. Okay. Now I'll switch back to a normal brush size right here. And I'm going to start making this look a little bit more metallic. I'm going to start with some black because the main character for our game actually has quite a bit of black. It's outlined. I think there's an outline function here. Maybe not. Effects, blur, yeah. It looks like that one might not be in yet the outline, but it doesn't really matter. We can just do it ourselves. So I'm going to start creating this outline. And generally I actually prefer starting with a darker color and then moving to a light color and drawing on the light because I think it's better to start with the shaded value and then think about where the light's going to be hitting it and draw that light on. So that's generally how I do it when I'm creating pixel art. So I'll create an outline like this and then or I should say a silhouette and then draw on the light. So down here is going to be a lot darker so I'm going to add some more black down here and these might be
actually kind of on the bottom half of this. So we'll, we might shade some of them like this so that you can imagine they're kind of under that. And we're starting to get some shape here because I'm adding the black as a shadow. What we need to do is draw some of this up here, select this red again, and create a darker version. I'm going to go darker here and then I'm going to hue shift here and go into like a purple value. And just because I've actually, the character actually goes a little bit purple too. So we can grab this and go a little bit purple. And that can be our darker value for this drone. And then we'll just fill in the entire thing like this. And then take the lighter color and say, okay, where is our light hitting? So we're probably going to get some light on these right here. maybe kind of right there. It's got some light hitting those. And then we're going to have some light on the top. I'm kind of imagining this kind of as a disc shape, so I'm going to create that. But I also think that we need some sort of, I don't know if it's like a camera eye on this drone. I think that could be kind of cool. So I'm going to actually start by doing that. So let's see how centered we are here. That's pretty good, I think. And we'll create a camera looking lens here. Go a little higher with that. And I'm using control to switch colors by the way. So we've got kind of our camera looking eye and how this is attached is kind of up to us but I do want to make sure it looks attached, so I'm going to add a little bit of shading right here and try and make it look like this is attached. Like this. And now we can start drawing some of the light. And obviously this is going to be lit right here. Because I'm doing sort of a top-down lighting. We'll get some light out here, like this. And then the light will hit the top of this for sure. like that. And I think that's uh that's symmetrical. Really no sense in having this shade here though. Maybe on this right here. Yeah, that's that looks pretty good to me. We might anti-alias that just a little bit back there. Okay, so we've got a pretty cool looking colors there so far. I'll probably do one more value because I think my player has more kind of lighter values. So we'll come to a lighter tone here and I'm going to move this more towards yellow to make it kind of orange. And this is going to help with our metallic look as well. So we can come here on the very top. And 
add the brightest color there. But I think we definitely need to take this all the way like that. Okay. So I like the way this is looking so far. I kind of want the lens to look more like a lens now. So I'm going to go back to Google, search camera lens. and get some different lens images and there's some pretty default lenses so we can come in and create a light maybe I'll go with a light yellow for the lens and basically they just have kind of like a center like this with an outer color and an inner color that's a little bit darker. So let's create even a darker purple. Come in with that. And then they have the inner the inner color doesn't look quite this bright. I've got it way too bright, I think. I'll try using the orange that we've been using. And then the last thing they do is kind of add a highlight, and I don't know how to do this in Game Maker Studio 2's image editor. Probably we could take white and just take the alpha down a bunch to like 35. And then color right here. I don't know. Something like that. And we've got our drone. And we'll run the game and see how this looks. Ignore the white dots in the game. I've been messing around some other things. They still kind of look like Metroids. <laughs> That's okay though. It's not it's not too bad. Oh well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Pixel video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, be sure and like it and share it, and I will talk to you guys later.